are finally back with one of my favorite families. I feel like I haven't played with this family in a long time, but in reality it's been about a week and a half maybe, but it just feels like so long because I love this family so, so much. Um, we just got back from Night on the Town. Um, that is where we left off in the last episode and I am just having them sleep. It has gotten so icy and snowy outside and I honestly love it. The only thing that's not good is that our plants are very, very dormant and dead, so I'm gonna have to get some winter plants. So I know in the last episode I talked about those unique plants a little bit, but in this episode we are definitely gonna be getting those unique plants and I found out that basically 10 unique plants just means 10 different plants. At least that's what I have come to find out and I hope that's correct. Like I hope we don't have to get like 10 rare plants. Um, so all we have to do is just get 10 different plants and I'm gonna have to find 10 different plants that are good for... I either want to find one some now or I guess we could just wait until it becomes springtime. I think that's what we might do because it's not like we have to get them before a certain time period. Like we still have 35 days until Channing ages up into an elder. Um, I don't even want to think about that right now because <laughs> that is a long time, but we, we still have plenty of time is my point. So I think I might just wait until the springtime um, to have those 10 different plants. So I'm going to find, I'm going to have to find plants or seeds that are good for the spring. And in the meantime, I'm going to be aging. Oh my gosh, aging. I'm going to be getting Channing to on his gardening skill so that we can get better quality um, plants, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I am super excited to have this baby, you guys. Um, obviously, I showed you guys in the last episode the nursery that I have made. I think it is so adorable. I love the colors and the wood tones um, and we have like a lot of natural lighting coming in. It's just so cozy and so cute. Um, but yeah, I am super excited. We're doing really, really well money-wise. Um, you know, Channing does want to open his own restaurant and that is what we are going to be doing. Um, and I will show you guys in this episode the restaurant that I have chosen. So that is something that I am definitely looking forward to. Oh my gosh, we have Lilith out here lilith valator is this bobby why is bobby out in the cold come back in the house bobby it looks like a christmas wonderland out here i love it because we have like these pine trees over here evergreen trees they look like um they look like christmas trees like i love it so so much well channing is awake now even though it is 4 30 a.m i'm so i'm gonna be so sad when bruno passes away like i i will cry you guys we're definitely gonna have to like build a snowman or something today. I think they already tried to start some, but <laughs> we're gonna have to to build one. And I love this house so much. I added some Christmas lighting on the outside. It's so adorable. I really need to start decorating this place a little bit more. I feel like it's a little bit empty right now. Um, but that was kind of the like the whole point of me not completing the furnishing because I didn't want us to just have like a move-in ready perfect home. Oh no! Sometimes Channing feels anxious and he isn't quite sure why. That's a mod that I have in. It's like a mental health mod. That is so sad though. I mean it's not like overtaking his happy um his happy moodlet so that's good but hopefully it doesn't get any worse. Um, but let's come up here and have him make some breakfast this morning. We will just do... We will do... How about, like, some fruit salad? I feel like Channing would be like, you need to eat some fruit, babe, <laughs> for the baby. I'm gonna go ahead and have Penny wake up and use the bathroom. Um, she wants to chat with Johnny. Okay. Okay, so she still has these, like, swirls on her skin. Oh! <gasps> Oh, 
Channing reached level 10 in the cooking skill. Okay. So that was one of our goals that we had to complete for the family dynamics challenge. So that's awesome. So now we just need to reach level 10 in the um, mixology skill. And then I think level five is the max for the gourmet cooking skill. Well, basically we just need to max all of the, all of the cooking skills. I'm going to try to max like everything, like max baking and then obviously we need to max mixology. Um, I really just want to try to max everything. So let's have him eat his fruit salad. Penny can go upstairs as well and eat her fruit salad. Um, but like I, I was saying, she still has these swirls on her skin and she is very dizzy from a pregnancy complication. But we went to the doctor and they didn't say anything was wrong. They just said that like she had a high risk pregnancy so yeah we we will see i might honestly i've been thinking for this lp i might just take the mod out because it's nothing it's it adds to story like it adds to gameplay and that's nice but it's not something that is necessary for this challenge but yeah i am just waiting very very patiently <laughs> for this baby to come out. I'm so excited for this baby to come out, you guys. Oh, Bruno is so sad. Let's go over here and ask him what is wrong. Are you going to drink out of the- no, you are not going to do that. So, I'm trying to think of, like, what I want to do with these two rooms. Like, I know we're going to have a couple of more kids in the future. Maybe just one or two. We will see, but- I don't know. Um, let me know what you guys think that we could do with these two rooms. I'm gonna have Penny invite Zoe Patel over just to hang out a little bit. There's not really much that Penny could do because she is really, really late in her pregnancy. Like, so I don't want her to be like going out in the snow and stuff. So we're gonna see if Zoe wants to come over. And then also Angela. They have good compatibility, right? Yeah, good compatibility. Okay. All right. So this is it, you guys. This is the restaurant that has been in Channing's family for so, so long. And now he has decided to go ahead and purchase it for himself. He has not done so yet because right now there are owners and he hates what they are doing to the place. Like they have not fixed anything like it still looks disgusting um and this restaurant was actually made by one of my good friends on twitter i will put their link in the description or not their link oh my gosh their gallery id in the description if you want to go ahead and use this lot this lot was made personally for me and i just absolutely love it for this family dynamics challenge um i just wanted something that looked like it had been here for a long time and it was really run down and no one you know everyone just thinks like it's such a waste of space and it should just be cleared off this dock and destroyed but this has been in Channing's family for so long this is called this restaurant is called the last plank and like I said it has been in Channing's family for a very very very, very long time it used to not be a restaurant it used to just be where fishermen would come and you know kind of trade fish and provide fish for Brindleton Bay and all kinds of stuff like that, but it was converted into a restaurant probably like in the mid-1900s and now it is owned by somebody else, but Channing wants to take it back. I think everyone in Brindleton Bay knows that Channing Whitlock owns, or not owns right now, but his family has owned this for a very, very long time, but Channing has just never had enough money um, and he, he moved to you know, San Myshuno. We were, we were in San Myshuno and the timing was never right. Money was never right, but we are finally brought back in Brindleton Bay. And I honestly like that look, but there are obviously are a couple things we need to clean up. Like there's some graffiti and I don't know why the owners haven't cleaned this off. Like people have just come in here and spray painted the walls and I, I wish that they would have cleaned this off. So also if you guys notice there is some this isn't for Christmas. This is actually for um Channing's Italian heritage. So yeah, his family came from Italy 
and were fishermen in Italy and, and eventually they, somewhere along Channing's line, they settled down in Bridleton Bay. But that just is kind of like a little homage to his Italian heritage. So we're definitely going to be having to serve some Italian food here. Um, and one of my favorite parts is this upstairs area as well. I love it so, so much. I'm super excited for Channing to get this restaurant back in his grasp. Right now, we don't, we don't know. I don't know how much this lot is. So we're going to have to figure that out, figure out a way we can come up with the money because this has to be Channing's. Like, this just has to be. So that is the last plank, you guys. I love that name. Um, I think it's very, very fitting. All right, we are back home and this man is yelling at our Bobby. Do not yell at Bobby. Like, you need to get out of here, Omar. I think Channing's going to come over here. And give a rude introduction like honestly Channing is not a mean person but he's like why are you yelling at my dog oh wait are you kidding me they actually like each other like that was like a positive interaction did you see that okay that was not the plan but let's just ignore that all right so I'm gonna have Penny come out here we're gonna come outside and start making some snow uh, snow pals and snow angels. Let's see if we can shove snow at her. <laughs> like, I know that's mean and she's pregnant, but like, she'll be okay. It's just snow. Let me see this. Oh, <gasps> oh my God. That is so funny. No, she loves it. She's not even mad. And they're going to have a snowball fight. Oh, I forgot that that like, that triggered a snowball fight. If you shove snow at a sim. All right, let's see this. Who's going to win? I haven't, I don't even think I've actually like, what? Penny, that was pathetic. You hit his foot. Right, come on, Penny, you can do this. Uh, Chaining. Look, did you see that? Oh no, he has to go pee. We'll just, we'll cheat that up for him real quick because I don't want him to pee on himself. Oh, why is it like see-through? Is that like my reshade or something? Maybe building a snow pile will make this baby pop out. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so pretty, you guys. It's so pretty outside. Oh, oh my gosh. She's going into labor. Get up. Why are you asleep? You're going into labor. She's going into labor. Let's come have Channing freak out. <laughs> I just want to see him freak out. I honestly don't think I've ever been this excited. Okay, she's got to go to the bathroom first before we head to the hospital. But yeah, you should get going because we're about to pop out this baby. Okay, let's have a baby at hospital and we're going to join her with Channing. Oh my gosh. Okay, Penny is in her hospital gown. I don't know why the heck she's wearing this makeup. Like I did not put that makeup on her, but we are here at the hospital. I think we're gonna, oh, we're already going to the exam bed. Okay. So this is actually a mod that I have in. This is the new, the Panda Sama. I think it's called Panda Sam or Panda Sims. I don't know. What are you doing, Channing? Come over here with your, with your wife. Ask for epidural. <gasps> oh, is that what we have to do? <laughs> Channing, why are you laughing? <laughs> She's going to kill you. <laughs> Look, she's like rolling her eyes. She's like, stop laughing, Channing. Stop laughing. Okay, let's ask for an epidural. Wait. Ask, which one should we do first? Ask to check dilation. Let's ask her to check our, our dilation. You are currently one centimeter dilated. So now what do we do? Do you have any children? Yes, I'm a parent. I have five child. Okay. <laughs> We're not fully dilated, so what do we have to do to get fully dilated? Oh, we can go for a walk. Okay. Oh, no. She's having really bad contractions. Okay, let's see. Let's go back inside and check our dilation again. Two centimeters. That's it. Okay, we need to get an exercising ball, it says. Okay, so I enabled free build, and I found the little yoga ball, so we're going to have to come do this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and ask Channing if you will come and give us a back massage and then we will kind of exercise on the on the ball so that we can 
get this going and we can get more dilated. This is so cool. I love this, you guys. She's having really bad contractions now. I think we need to ask for epidural. Oh no, you guys. Something doesn't feel right. Penny is feeling numbness on half of her body and she is still in pain. Oh no. Ask to replace epidural? I'm so sorry to hear that. Let me try replacing it to see if it helps. I will be right over. You're almost there. Oh god. Okay, we have one more. One more dilation or one more centimeter. <laughs> I am ready to have this baby. Okay, so let's check our dilation one last time. We should be fully, fully dilated now. You're fully dilated. Okay. So now we are going to, I think we're going to go ahead and give birth with her because I like her. So let's go ahead and give birth. It's a boy, you guys. It's a boy. So I think I'm going to go with the name Eric. That name was recommended by Sasha Raquel. So thank you so much for that recommendation. I really, really love that name. And I cannot wait to meet our boy. Oh, wait, where is he at? Congratulations, the doctor has prepared the birth certificate. Oh, there he is. So cute. So we are now home with Eric. I think I'm going to have him come over here and kiss Eric and talk to him a little bit. I, I think I'm going to keep Eric in this room for now in our room just because he is a newborn. And then once he turns into an infant, we can move him in here. But I am so happy, you guys. We finally have our bundle of joy, Eric. Like, I am so happy. But they are both so tired. I'm going to have Penny come and sleep. Channing is really, really tired, too. But we're just going to play with Eric for a little bit. Um, we're going to give them some food. So before I forget, I need to purchase some plants. So... Basically, what I understand is that we can just plant any plant, but it just has to be 10 different plants. So, I'm going to honestly just buy all of these, and these all come with different plants inside them. And then, what's this? Farmer. Maybe we can try some of these, too, just so we can try to get, like, different, uh, different plants. So, after... Uh, Channing puts Eric down. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, so go ahead and put him down. I can't wait to see what he looks like when he's an infant. Like, that is what I'm most excited about. All right, so let's open all of these. So we can definitely plant a spinach. We can do carrot, bell pepper, a grape, and then a green pea over here and then over here i can do like flowers or something we'll do a snapdragon a crocus um we'll do a bluebell nuzzle nip and chrysanthemum So I have been playing off camera for a little bit and it was finally time for Eric to age up. So I am so, so happy. I went ahead and took him into Create a Sim and um, dressed him up a little bit. He is so adorable. He has his mother's skin tone and he has his dad's hair. Like, I thought that this hair was absolutely perfect to put on him. Um, because it's like curly and long so it reminds me of Channing's hair a lot um, also a couple of other things happened as you saw Bruno passed away what is this in the floor what is that oh my gosh okay 
I was like, what in the world? <laughs> um, and then there's something weird. Vobi Nurks? Yeah. So there's something weird that's been happening with Penny. She's, like, been glitched out. Like, her back has been, like... Or her body is just, like, in a weird shape. And I have no idea what it is. Um, let me turn this down really quick. Yeah, so, like I said, I have no idea what that is that could be causing her body to, like be weird like that and it, even in like her little picture right here she's like out of the picture because her body is literally like in such a weird shape i have no idea what's wrong with it but i have actually been meaning to get um let me delete that because we don't need that anymore because i'm gonna put eric in here um but let me actually get him like a little play pin for the ground and then some other stuff if we can Okay, I went ahead and put it up here, um, but it is 3 in the morning, so I'm not going to use it at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and put Eric to bed. Why do we have dirty dishes here? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I hope Eric... Oh, well, he needs to be fed, so let's go ahead and breastfeed him. Oh, look at him. And he actually has Channing's blue eyes, so I love that. Um, Penny has brown... Yeah, she has dark brown eyes. He is just, I'm in love with him. I can't get enough of him. All right, so they're going to go to sleep. But I am going to make a little bit of a get-together today for Winter's Eve. Or should we just celebrate it as a family? No, I think, yeah, I think we should just celebrate it as a family tonight. And then tomorrow we will do a little get together i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here you guys i really really hope you enjoyed i love eric so much he is the cutest infant ever and i can't wait to see what he looks like when he gets older but i just want to enjoy this infant stage and really play with like the growing together stuff um and we will probably be having more children maybe one more but eric is definitely going to be well, I say definitely, but like, I don't know for sure. I guess I can't say anything for sure now, but if we do have another children, you know, I'm going to have to decide who's going to be our, you know, next generation, the second generation of the family dynamics. So I'm super excited for that. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.